How's it going guys, my name is Lombrell and as you can clearly see that Valve has released a brand new operation called Operation Hydra. Obviously, we've been expecting this operation for a very, very long time. In fact, it has been exactly one year, three months, and six days since the last operation, which was Operation Wildfire, uh, that was released on February 17th of 2016. Anyways, this operation will be active for, I believe, 16 or 18 weeks or something like that. This is probably by far the biggest operation that we have ever seen in CSGO. So what is this operation going to feature? I think the biggest thing that this operation brings to the community is obviously the Hydra events. It's free to play for all players. And what's going to happen is every week there's going to be rotating three events. So one is War Games, one is Wingman, and one is Weapon Expert. So this week they're starting off with War Games. This is an event that features six game modes. Basically, these six game modes are Heavy Assault Suit, Headshots Only, Hunters and Gatherers, Stab Stab Zap, the Flying Scoutsman and Trigger Discipline. I was actually able to play a few of these game modes, which I'm showing you guys on screen right now. The first one I'm showing you guys right now is Headshot Only. It's basically just regular deathmatch, but Headshot Only. It's basically like free-for-all headshot only servers, but team deathmatch oriented, of course. I was able to play Stab Stab Zap, which is basically you running around with the taser and a knife. So basically all you're doing is just running around stabbing people or zeusing people. I was able to play the Flying Scoutsman, which is basically, if any of you guys have played Scouts Knives on community servers, that's basically what this game mode is. A bunch of people love this game mode. I actually tried it out for myself. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, it is in a casual style gameplay, so it is, I believe, best of like 15 rounds or something and the last game mode i did play was of course called trigger discipline basically every time you take a shot you take damage so you really have to focus on your trigger discipline use your grenades and stuff like that as for the other ones that i didn't get to try out yet hunters gatherers if you ever played cod this is like kill confirmed you're just running around picking up people's dog tags earning points for the victory and the last game mode that i didn't try out was obviously heavy assault suit i believe it's just like casual bomb defusal gameplay except i believe one person will spawn in like a tank with a full suit of armor and just goes havoc on the enemy team i haven't tried those two yet but i'm sure they're very fun as for the other events that are not available yet that will be available probably in the next week is wingman and weapons expert now these two events actually sound really fun to play which i probably won't be able to experience because i'll be gone to europe the wingman event basically all it is is a 2v2 competitive best of 16 match on csgo single bomb site maps so essentially you're going to be playing like retakes that's basically what it is it's a two and two retake scenario i'm assuming um which is obviously going to be really fun to try out with a buddy for the second event this one looks the most fun out of the three and that is a uh, weapons expert basically what it is it's a 5v5 best of 30 match a regular competitive match but once you buy a weapon you can't buy it again for the rest of the match this means that you can literally exhaust the enemy by the end of the match to have no weapons but their knives or their default pistols. I think this one is going to be really, really fun to try out with like a group of five. If you can get five buddies together to all work together, I think this one will be one of the best game modes for teamwork and just for general fun. I'm really looking forward to this one. So as always with every operation that is going to come a bunch of new maps so basically they're featuring four new and three returning community created maps that are available for pretty much competitive play and the events and casual and deathmatch and whatever the first map is called austria it looks pretty nice i doubt i'm gonna experience any of these maps but the next map is called light the next one which looks to me the most fun out of them all because it's like in a small close quarters and it's set on the ship thrill clearly set in a amusement park so that looks kind of cool as well agency we've all played agency it's a returning map as well. Black Gold, I think this was one of the most favorite maps from back when it was like, what, Operation Breakout, I believe. And then the last map, of course, is Insertion, which is a really huge map. This was like one of the biggest maps they've ever released for CSGO, and it's a hostage-based maps. I think this was also one of the community's favorites. So yeah, these maps will probably be available for the 18 weeks that this operation is active for. And obviously, it's available to everybody to play and try out in competitive, deathmatch, or casual. So as for the operation itself, you can upgrade the operation for six dollars which will obviously give you an operation hydra coin which you can display uh you can get an operation hydra journal which will tell you the entire story of the operation um basically it's the guardian campaign i'm not sure if they're continuing this it's like a sequel or not you guys can let me know in the comments uh, but i personally don't follow along with the operations and the campaigns and whatever but obviously you get more xp and a chance to get operation hydra items as a drop and the case of course so if you guys want those features you're gonna have to pay six bucks for it 
And of course, as with every operation, there will be an operation case, which in this case will be Operation Hydra case. So many cases in one sentence. They're featuring 17 brand new skins and uh, one special new item, which is going to be gloves instead of a knife. Yeah, I know. Fucking gloves. Anyways, here are the skins on the screen right now. I'm not really going to talk too much about them as I haven't seen them in game as this operation has literally just come out. So I doubt a lot of these skins have been unboxed yet. But yeah, there's nothing really special about these skins in my opinion. They look pretty normal to me. There's no, nothing really that stands out to me that much. Of course, the red op looks pretty nice. And the Hyper Beast 5.7, which how many Hyper Beast skins do we have already? Either way, not a bad job by Valve at all. Uh, I think this operation is very, very, very much needed, especially in the current stage that we're at in CSGO. If they take a more approach of fixing the bigger bugs in the game and adding more features that people have been asking for. I think that uh, that would be the best step and the best move for Valve moving forward. But other than that, that's pretty much going to do it for me for today. That's the end of the operation. Uh, if you guys want to read about the FAQ, of course, it'll be on the operation showcase page, which I'll link in the description of this video. And yeah, that's it. That's going to do it for me for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this operation. Mine is Long Barrel, and remember, be water, my friends.